All right, guys, been a while since I did a cold start vid, so I figured I'd do one real quick of these. Just moved them out of the way to get the ladder out to clean out a gutter, so I'm going to put them back. This guy, oh, wife texted me Friday, said you gotta get home. This thing leaking gas all over the place. So I get home, you can see it. This whole spot, it's just water now from the push more, but this whole spot was gas. This is dripping out of the carburetor. I'm like, what the heck's going on here? So I uh, just took it apart and looked at it. You guys can see that that little piece right there broke off of that uh, gasket on the needle and seat yeah that little piece right there was holding the needle open and it was just puking gas everywhere so so I just got the carb apart and um, put a different seat in there a little rubber piece and it seems to be working fine now so and wouldn't you know it, I've never put a shutoff valve on this thing. And it's been like four years now. And then it deteriorates a little bit and does that. So I'm going to have to get a valve and stick it in there. But she should start now and run without puking gas everywhere. guys just a little update from here figured I'd start moving those tractors because it's been forever got this one running again again still needs an oil change but uh I did the just painted the gas tank scabbily <laughs> and see it's got a little hammered on it because I just 
And the carb was still orange from the old 69, so I put it on, put the verde green on that, just touched up that tan a little bit. Good enough for winter. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do anything with it until spring. I was going to tear it apart and restore it, but might as well wait for the snow to be done, so I'll do that in the spring. But today is October 8th, guys, and it is 83 degrees out here, so I'm taking advantage of this weather. We, uh, I had some storms the other night and the water was just pouring out of this gutter on this side of the house, so I just got up in there and dug a bunch of like sand and crap off the shingles out of there, so you know all the nails were loose. So I popped all the nails back in, got it back up straight, so it's flowing good now. Dumps out right there. So yeah guys, not much else going on. The leaves are starting to change getting everything ready for winter situated so that's the update from here and we'll talk to you later